Hello, Landon Austin here. And every time I meet someone new and I tell them about what I do on YouTube, I make music here, uh, the number one question they always ask me is, wait, how do you make money on YouTube? Well, you don't. So stop now. Don't make any more videos, it's a waste of time. So I'll be the first to tell you, I feel very blessed that I'm still here able to make music for a living and um, a huge part of that is because of YouTube and is because of the people who watch my videos here and people like you downloading my songs on iTunes or listening on Spotify. But I thought I'd make this video to answer those people's questions and if there's anyone out there who wants to make music for themselves and wants to be able to pay their rent, um, hopefully this will help you a little bit. Now, for a YouTuber, this can be a great way for you to make an extra revenue stream. Every time someone watches your video, you get a few cents or whatever, and that rate can vary depending on the channel or the time of year, so I won't go too much into that. But if you're a vlogger or someone who creates a lot of original content and you're getting hundreds of thousands or millions of views of video, this can be an awesome revenue stream. It can be great. But if you're a musician who does cover songs on YouTube, not so much. Now, if I post a brand new cover song and it gets a million views, it blows up and people love it, um, that's that's great. I would be so excited by that. Now, monetarily, chances are at that point, the publisher of that song, so the company who owns the publishing, and the publishing on a song is, is like who wrote the song, like who owns the, the, the words and the melody. So they'll come in and they'll claim the video pretty much the second you post it. Back in the day, you used to get in trouble for that and they give you a strike or threaten your channel, but now they're kind of like, hey, Whatever, good job, but this is our money though. Keep doing what you're doing. So that, that normally happens. However, if I post a brand new original song and it gets a lot of views, then I get to keep the whole pot and that's super nice. However, there's a trade off because with cover songs, it's easier to get a lot of views because people are searching it and you know, all that. And then your original song, hopefully people are dedicated enough to you to watch it, but if they're not, then it could get lost in the sea of YouTube videos. YouTube is an incredible tool for building up a community. Before I did YouTube videos, people didn't really care much about me. But the second I started making videos, people would be like, hey, your favorite color is blue, and your birthday is this day, and how's your dog back home? And I'd be like, how do you know this stuff? Because I forget that I tell them, and you gotta write that stuff down. It's creepy. So that can be a great way to draw people out to shows. And then also you can sell shirts online or CDs, and, and those will do well here and there, and, um, you can sell those at your shows, and, and that's a great revenue stream. Baby, I'm perfect for you. So, sometimes at the end of my music videos, I'll get on camera and I'll say, Hey, thanks for watching. This video was brought to us by our sponsor, this sneaker. It's the sneakiest sneaker, and you're gonna love it. I don't know. Now, I would never personally endorse something that I don't think is cool or believe in or that, that I don't think you guys would like, um, so you'll never see me endorse, like, lip gloss. Like, it's not gonna happen. Um, but if it's something that I like or I think you might, um, then I'll do a deal with them and, and they'll compensate me to push the product and that helps me make a video and uh, keep paying my rent. So YouTube for me has always been a billboard. I'm, since I'm a musician, it's, it's hard for me to make money directly from the content itself. But if I use it as a billboard to push to iTunes or Spotify, that helps me keep the ship afloat and that's always been the lion's share for me of how I, I do that, how I keep this going. And, and so at the end of any song, whether it's a cover or original, I encourage people to go to iTunes or Spotify because it helps me uh, continue to make new music. And some songs will lose money, some songs will make money, you never really know. And it's also, when someone downloads your song on iTunes, it's kind of a little way of saying, hey, I like what you're doing, I wanna take this with me. Or if they listen on Spotify, it's, you know, it's nice to see that people like what you're doing past just seeing the video. Now you've probably seen every YouTuber uh, under the sun promote this, but it's this site where it's like an ongoing tipping service. So it really helps me know that every video I make, I'm not gonna lose money. And that is such a relief. Cause a few years ago, I didn't know that. Because making music videos is not a cheap endeavor. I mean, sometimes you have to pay someone to shoot the video or you have to rent some gear, which is expensive. Uh, maybe rent a location and then maybe pay someone to produce a song, which is not cheap. So having a Patreon now gives me peace of mind knowing that every video I make is at least paid for. I'm going to at least 
be able to pay for what I'm doing and I'm not gonna go into the red. So that's been a huge blessing. And so I always push that. You can check out mine here, see what it's like. If you wanna support it, you can. If not, that's okay. We can still be friends. But yeah, that's how I keep this ship afloat. Uh, and I keep doing what I love and making videos. And um, a huge part of that is you. So thank you for being a part of this journey with me. And if you have any other questions, put them in the comments below. I'll try and answer them. And maybe you have an idea of something that I'm not doing. Uh, and let me know. I'll try and I'm not gonna do lip gloss. I can't I can't promote lip gloss, but sneakers or I don't know, something. <laughs>